Hi YouTube, it's Amy. Uh, I haven't made an update in a little while or anything with any sort of information in it. But uh, honestly, things have not changed for me. I have been within the same five pounds for six months now. Um, I do see a little different in the way my clothes feel and maybe my um, skin is kind of going back a little bit and I think possibly if I were to be able to get a tummy tuck it would probably take care of those last 10 pounds that I need to lose um, but it's kind of frustrating because I have to wear a support garment every day just to not have a roll over my pants when my pants are loose which is kind of frustrating so but I'm living with it I am very high stressed right now because I am running my business and I am working um, outside the home to supplement for my husband um, not working right now so I am eating more fast food. I find myself eating, um, I don't know, a, a kid's hamburger or a taco. Being close to a year and a half out post-op, I still cannot eat that much with my vertical sleeve. At night, I have a hard time eating a lot. But if I were to tell you guys, okay, everybody's had a Subway sandwich from Subway. I cannot eat half of a six inch sub. So I can eat a little less than three inches of a sub sandwich. If I go out to a restaurant and I order a hamburger, I can barely eat half of that hamburger. For breakfast, I can eat one slice of toast and one egg. Um, there's foods that I can eat a lot of, like popcorn. I could sit in a movie and eat a ton of popcorn or I could eat a lot of uh, chips and salsa if I go to a Mexican restaurant, but then when my food comes, I can't eat any of it. Uh, so I'm very happy with my sleeve, and it seems to really be helping me. Prior to surgery, I don't think that I was ever the same weight for more than one month at a time. My weight fluctuated. It, tremendously. I would go up if I wasn't dieting and I would go down if I was dieting and I don't think I was even in the same size pants for more than a couple months. So I have really achieved a huge goal of maintaining a normal weight and I'm comfortably wearing a size 8 um, eights and nines and mostly medium tops. I've actually gotten rid of all my large tops. In juniors I wear a large but in regular uh, women's clothing I wear a medium which I never thought I would wear a medium. I'm going to stand up. I want to kind of show you guys if I can I want to show you some of my excess skin. This is not going to be pretty and I want to let you know that I, um, about five or six years ago, I had an appendectomy, so I do have a, a bad um, vertical scar from that, which also creates problems with the skin. But um, this is the reality of losing 125 pounds, and some of you are just starting your journey, and you want to know um, what it looks like. And I'm going to show you guys. Okay. So. Here I am today. These pants are kind of baggy on me. They're nine juniors. Okay. So. I'm going to take this off. And I want to show you 
see if I can show you. My arms are not that bad. Actually, if I flex, it's not that bad. I mean, if I shake it, it does shake a little bit, but it's fine. But I do have this here. So when I wear a tank top, that kind of hangs over. I don't know if you can see that. This little extra back here, that's kind of annoying. And I don't know if you guys can see, but my boob just kind of sits in there. It's all... Ugh. Anyways. Okay. So I want to show you guys my stomach. So, look at it. I can totally hang it over my pants. See all that? This is what I have. That's from my appendectomy. So, it's there. It's really there. But I can tuck it right in. Those are those pants. Hides away. I have here. And if I had all this removed, I'd be in much better shape. So that's without my garment and um. For me to show you guys that, that is very hard for me to do, but I've been sharing my journey and I do have a lot of subscribers and you guys have seen how big I was. I've actually lost um, 18 inches off of my hips, 16 inches off of my waist, 18 inches off of my bust, 10 inches off of each thigh. So, um, I have lost a significant amount of inches that, you know, doesn't all go away. But, in my clothes, as long as I got my Spanx or my undergarments, I'm fine. Even with all this skin, I still can wear, uh, I can get into a size 6 pants. And I'm pretty happy uh, with that at um, 5'10". I am maintaining my calories lately between 1,200 and 1,400 because I have been working out more. I've been doing the P90X with my husband and wearing my body bug during that hour I'm burning about an extra 600 calories so I did start taking in an extra 200 calories of protein a day. One thing that I need to work on more is my water and from the very beginning I've had a hard time getting all my water in and um, lately because it's summer I think that might be affecting me more. I have noticed that if I miss my vitamins for two days they, it makes me feel funny. I feel droggy and achy. So I know that I have to take all those vitamins. Everybody, don't forget your vitamins. It's very important because you're not getting all the nutrition your body needs. Um, I hope that this information helps some of you. And I love you guys. I love watching your videos. And I will be here through my goal. And... Um, I'll keep coming back. Thank you. Have a great day, guys.